So, are we ready for the masterpiece? That's started. So, in this tutorial, I am going to show you a great uh, way to fast multiple your stamps and die cut image. You're going to love it, and then you can use at least the technique again. And again, it's very helpful. That's started. Have you um, got a chance to watch the tutorial 132, these beautiful butterflies in jar? If you haven't, make sure you watch the tutorial 132. And today's tutorial is actually uh, extended from the tutorial 132. So I was mentioning I want to make a masterpiece. So I bought this beautiful uh, lantern from Michael's. And I'm going to show you how we're going to put all the butterflies in and then I'm going to show you the quick way to uh, multi-produce the butterfly, the stamping and the die cut. And after this project, I am actually working on a uh, under the scene and uh, we are, I'm going to show you the other great project. So make sure you subscribe to the Local King um, YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, I am actually going to provide you some coupon code. So currently, Local King Robert Stand, all the online um, have a 20% off uh, May promotion. So inside this tutorial, I'm going to provide you the other 5% off coupon code. So usually when Local King running the promotion, we are not accept the um, um, a combined coupon code, like a multi-coupon code. But uh, now is a special time, so you um, we allow you to combine both coupon codes, so you will get a both promotion. If you are local King's viewer, you will get a 5% extra uh, discount. If you um, don't watch our tutorial, you probably miss a great deal. So if you haven't um, subscribed to the Local King YouTube channel, make sure you click that uh, subscribe button, the little motorcycle, and also turn on that blue bells, that, uh, the bells. That means you will receive a notice when we have a new tutorial upload to our um, YouTube channel. Okay, the material list is depend on how big your project. So I am actually making this a masterpiece for my washroom. I just found out it's so pretty. And I got the Lisa Lantern from Michaels. It's a $39.99 US dollars and luckily there was a 50% off. So I only pay $19.99 for this beautiful lantern. It's very good quality and I think it's a good buy. And then um I got uh, some branches for my yard already and you can find more information from the tutorial 132. You got to watch it. There's a lot of tutorial and in that tutorial I uh, have explained all the material that you you need. But in today's tutorial actually there is something else I just uh, I just uh, uh, um, discovered. So I would like to share uh, share with you when we reach to that section. It's a different kind of lighting, but uh, I will uh, like to ask you to watch tutorial 132 because uh, you get uh, all the material that you need to be able to do this project. So today's to today's uh, um, tutorial, I'm just focused on how I can help you to create a more um, die cut image in the very short of time. There is a way to do that. I have a lot of water, uh, butterflies uh, right in front of me. You must probably ask me, are you kidding me? This is going to take forever. No, there's always a way to, you know, to do it faster. And I am going to share my secret with you. And uh, I think this is going to be a beautiful Mother's Day, Mother's Day gift if you can make it. And currently, this uh, butterfly effect, uh, uh, sorry, yes, he butterfly effect, yeah, that's the name that is uh, uh, on special. So make sure you check or this month's special and make sure you follow this tutorial. There's a 5% extra coupon code waiting for you. Okay, so first we are going to need a stamp positioner. If you have one, it's great. 
If you don't have one, please watch the tutorial number 45. I did a, uh, create a tutorial to show you how to how you can use the DVD case to create your own. And I think the size is pretty good. You can do exactly the same thing if you don't have a stand position uh, uh, like this size. I found out this size is the perfect. Too small, sometimes not enough. Too big, sometimes, you know, if you put too, too many stamps, they don't usually get a nice print image and you don't have that big, Daikon machine, you can do that. So this size is actually perfect. And then um, they also they usually come with uh, magnet, but I really don't trust those magnet. I don't find out they are very reliable. So I usually just use a uh, uh, masking tape to secure my paper. So first, we are going to create a, a template. Okay, so that's uh, not a nice place to do that. So I'm going to reverse it. Okay, that's the Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so try to keep uh, each stem away from each other because I also want to die cut all together too. So that's just make sure that's very good. Okay, everything is perfect. And then make sure actually we're gonna make a little bit narrow because the, I want to make sure this one, I think the die cut machine is probably like a Five and the five inches wide, so make sure that this paper can run to the machine just one cut. Okay, and then we're going to use an impact, and um, um, I just use the memento because this is my guiding window. So I just want to have something that dry faster. I don't use the Versify because the Versify usually I love it. It's the, my uh, favorite impact. It just takes a little bit longer time to dry, and then um, I'm creating a guiding window. I just want to have some guiding, so it's not necessary to use the uh, Versify. Okay, so I'm missing a little spot there. It's good to have a stamp positioner because it's really helpful. Sometimes you just, uh, you know, miss a big, uh, some spot and you can go back to fix it. Okay, so that's going to be my um, template. You got to make sure that you cannot um, move any of your stamps here because we are going to do the multi stamp. So, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So those cannot be moved, okay? If your um, stamp is not sticky anymore, what you can do is put some double side tape. Um, just make sure your stamp is secure under, under your stamp position. We don't want to move. Okay, and then we're going to just remove our purple tape, okay? And remember, be careful. You don't want your stamp um, move, okay? so. This is a little bit more preparation, but trust me, it's really worth it because uh, these really can help you to create a lot of a uh, stem and die, stem and die. If I don't do this and I want to every uh, butterfly, I have to stamp and I have to um, put a guiding window, I have to die cut it, and that's going to take uh, forever. So, but this technique is just a little bit more preparation, but it is totally worth it. Um, you will be the judgment, okay? So this is my guiding window, and uh, if you are new to our channel, please check our DVD library. There's a lot of uh, um, tutorial, like this one, how to make a guiding window, and why you have to make a guiding window. So I make a guiding window here, and once when you create a guiding window, you can use it again and again. So, and then remember my pre in, my, in my previous tutorial, my guiding window actually have a, uh, I cover my guiding window with a packing tape. So that way the guiding window actually, you can use as a template and then you can also use as a guiding window. So this is the purple tape. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't really find this is any special compared with the, the masking tape, except they are purple, the pretty color. So, but it's, I like purple. Okay, so we just put all our guiding window on top, and then and we're going to run to the machine, and we are going to die cut it. So this is, uh, just to take a little bit time to do it and uh, you will see how these make any different. Okay, so I have all my um, 
stem image covered with a die cut. I'm going to just run to the machine and we'll be right back. Okay, and next we are going to put uh, or this uh, piece die cut and remember all the those uh, butterflies keep it because I have the other project is coming soon is related to this one. I'm going to use this one, so just don't put it in the garbage. Keep it, and then I am going to just uh, use uh, the tape to secure my paper here. Okay, and then make sure they line out. And then, so that way, this is what it looks like. Okay, so the next, there's too many ways to do uh, to, to, to do it. Um, I, I'm showing you the way I prefer, but it maybe uh, require a little bit more cleaning job, but you can do whatever you like. We are going to just use a die cut to cut a few butterflies. Okay. So next, what I did is I just uh, put uh, my die cut on the paper and then every time I can cut like four, 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 four. So it's so easy because I don't have to worry about the stamping and I don't have to worry about uh, putting guide, uh, guiding window. I don't have to worry about taping it. I don't have to worry about die cut. So I end up to have a too many um, plain butterfly. And now we are going to do a die cut and we can also do the embossing too. I just uh, discovered something. Okay, now, so we can just put the die cut back here like a puzzle, right? But because they are not sticky and if uh, sometimes they remove a little bit, I can put it back. But I want to have a, um, try to avoid as messy as I can do, you know, sometimes just get the dirty fingerprint. So I want to avoid, avoid that. So I am going to suggest you to do this. There's too many ways. First, but the way I'm going to do it, it will require a little bit cleaning, but that's okay. It's not that bad. But you can do this. First of all, you can just grab a piece of acetate, uh, not acetate, I mean washi tape, and then just tape a little bit corner. So that way here is a little bit sticky. And uh, when I place uh, my butterfly back, that place is going to hold that butterfly. Uh, so it's just preventing it moving. Or what uh, this is the way I like, I just use this reposition. Uh, reposition glue you can actually uh, but re remove it so I just apply a little bit here and there okay this way is more secure because they are repositioned they are not going to stick on your paper right so but after you finish this project you can use your finger can remove it you can use a Windex actually Windex is the best tool to remove the glue and like uh, those kind of price stick stickers you can use the uh, like a uh, glue gun glue gun is a little bit more pricey it does a job too but the windex do the job if you don't have a glue gun at a uh, glue gun at home so now you put your butterfly here see and then we are going to ink and then we are going to stamp and then we don't have to worry about the die cut and then you can multi-produce in the very short of time so i am not going to show you how to do embossing so i'm going to just fast forward this step and then um, we will be right back ba -da -ba -boom -boom. four butterflies just like that so that's how you can multi-produce uh, your stem and die image just in the short time. And then you can also do the embossing too. Hey, do you know, I don't know, did you know that you can use a VersaFine to do the embossing? I didn't know. I was always waiting for my VersaFine to dry. But that day I just see, let me give it a try. Actually, you can use a VersaFine to do the embossing and then you don't have to wait. So it's perfect. And uh, I love VersaFine. It's a very, very detailed. It just, uh, the color is just so bright. So it's a good idea that you can use a uh, VersaFine to do the embossing directly. It's a good idea to have a, a tweezer handy. And then so that way, it's a good idea to have a tray because uh, the heat gun is kind of hot. You don't want to hold in a butterfly and then you are going to ruin the image. So this is was one of the tutorial I'm going to mention. I don't remember which number. I'm going to put the, on the bottom of this link. You can find that tutorial. I was mentioning 10 different kind of best stamping tips that you need to know. This is one of the techniques. Get a small baking tray from dollar store and then you can just uh, um, use a for when you do the embossing. And then now I got my four down and then see how easy it is. 
no tracing, no nothing, and I go to working on another four. So I, um, this is how I multi-produce. I have a lot of butterfly, and then I actually, after this masterpiece, I have other project I'm going to share with you. Okay, so that's how I create a 12 butterfly under, for me, probably under 10 minutes. And uh, that's a lot of stamping, embossing, and die cut. Don't you find uh, this is a great way to do it? So what do you think? So far, if you think you learned th something from this tutorial, give me a thumb up. A thumb, not a finger, thumb. Okay, so the next, okay, you are, uh, we got, uh, I'm going to clean my stamp because this is a very fine, it's a very, very, you know, it's the, I don't want to get dirty. Okay, so I kind of just clean the surface with the uh, red cloth and then you be careful, don't move that butterfly. If you're planning to use this uh, template again, you can, as long as you don't touch your butterfly, you don't remove that, you can produce as many as you want and then but if you want to um, here's one more trick uh, I did before you can give a try it may be not perfect but uh, it will work first of all you are going to need uh, like a coping marker Sharpie I don't have a Sharpie handy but I just want to just give you an idea you're gonna use a copet like an alcohol marker or permanent marker what you can do is you can just tracing these uh, stamp the back of your stamp okay if you need to use your stamp positioner and then but uh, you don't want to occupy with your butterfly okay so you just uh, tracing this way one tracing all of uh, the the stamps and then next time and then you can remove it next time you want to use it you try to put your stamp back in that that, that outline um it maybe you can get like a perfect hundred percent perfect uh, matching, but uh, I'm sure you can get around the ninety five percent matching. So that's a tip. If um, um, if you want to do it, give it a try. And you find this tip is useful, give me a thumb up, a thumb. Okay, next we are going to do the coloring. So we are going to use our magic mushroom. And if you are new to our magic mushroom, make sure you check our website. We have a lot of tutorial to show you how to use those magic mushroom and what is the magic mushroom. Mushroom. So do you have a box of a double like this? I do. And uh, um, this is a great tool. I think this double I probably I have it for a while ago, and uh, I just. Uh, um, dump a lot of those dabber because I found out after a while you don't use it the, the tips start to falling apart if you have it use it is a good tool but uh, you know the new tool coming all the time so the new always replace the you know replace the um, they try to get a better and a better right so I'm gonna just show you what's different between this dabber and the local king's magic marshal but if you, you ha use it, have you, you have it just use it they will just fine so we are going to I'm going to just use one and I'm going to just pick out a little bit orange color and I'm just just to show you two comparison and then I'm going to just color like this and I'm going to use the local king magic mushroom so the yellow one let me make sure my mushroom is clean so I'm going to just wipe with a wet cloth and just dry it Okay, and then I'm going to just apply some color and you see the coverage of these two. So the local key magic mushroom, it can, you, you, you know, you don't have to do anything. And the, this uh, sponge part is just, uh, it's, uh, it, it just uh, can cover, you just have to feel it's different uh, when you use the brushes or, or when you use the dauber. But um, we are working on the small region, small size of the magic mushroom. Well, by the during the time, you know, all the factory is shut down now. So I don't know when the small mini mushroom is coming, but uh, now I don't have it. Sometimes you can just mix them. But you don't really have to use it. Um, you use what you have. If you, um, you, you don't have a mushroom, you don't have a daubers, all you can do is you can just color it in. So I am going to just, uh, you know, color, see how, you know, breach the color, it just a little bit. 
and then you can um, adjust your, your 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 pressure. When you push harder, you get a darker color. When you release a little bit color, they kind of blending with that yellow. So make the the coloring just become like a piece of cake. It's just so fast, so easy. You know, you just uh, see how fast it can come out with uh, all twelve butterflies just like that. So. If you want to keep your grandkids or your kids at home busy, don't give them a mushroom because they are going to finish probably in ten, ten, uh, five seconds, five minutes, and say, "Mom, what's next?" So give them the fine markers that they will take a while to finish all the coloring. You want to keep them busy, right? Give them something to do. So this magic mushroom, it just uh, you know speed up and see how pretty it, the color is, and you don't really um, have to. You know, worry about detail. So I have uh, 12 butterflies here, and I kind of I use the um, Robert Nakers new product, the Color Fuse, to color them. Okay, so it's just like this, and I just try to keep one mushroom, one co one color tone. So that way, see, just a little brush in the water, the color just. Uh, just come out like that. Even you just use one color, they still show the pretty color. Okay, and uh, we're going to do a little bit pink here or a little bit yellow. Any color you like, okay, and that's how I color all my butterfly just like these. So I'm going to just put my magic mushroom back and then like this one. Who doesn't like a butterfly? Butterfly, no matter what you do, they just so pretty. And then see, I don't even bother clean my magic mushroom. Okay, so what color I'm missing? That's do magenta to here. See, I almost finished color my 12 um, butterfly under five minutes. Can you believe it? If you don't believe it, hmm, you got to try it. Okay. So let's do this and do a little bit turquoise. And the best part of those magic mushroom is because you they can blend in the color. Okay, see like this uh, um, pink now, right? I am going to blend in with the orange, just half. Okay, see how pretty? Oh, I don't have a. Uh, blue so that's just uh, do a little bit purple here oh I'm going to do the blue 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 let's do this blue okay wow that's pretty okay watch this one I am using just one blue in the middle I push it very hard and then just release a little bit color I think even though just one color is so pretty, right? And then if you want to add a little bit purple, I don't have a small magic mushroom yet, so I just use a side. And then that's to add a, a little bit green. Isn't that pretty? And uh, I have uh, two more here. What color should I do? That's do, that's do, that's do orange. And uh, that's to blue. Okay, a little bit more blue. Can you believe it? I am almost finished all my butterfly. Really, no kidding, just like that. Okay, to all the orange. Ta da! All 12 butterfly. Did I speed up this process? I did. Okay, so before we move on to the next step, look at this paper. Isn't that pretty? That's going to be our next tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to use those templates we just die cut it. The positive and negative will create a beautiful project. You don't want to miss it. So we're going to move next.
Okay, so I got the, all my material here already. So uh, in the beginning of the tutorial, I was explaining this lantern. I bought it from Michael's uh, for 50% off. So it's around like $20 US dollars. And then in the tutorial number 32, I was uh, mentioning providing all the information. Uh, where can you buy the moss? When you can buy the Angelina fabric? Where can you buy the battery? Uh, not battery, the lights. Okay, so... Um, before, I really recommend you to take a look at the tutorial 130, 132 to explain to you how to make this jar. And I was talking about how you can create a jar that from any angles, you can see the butterfly. Now the some part is like a front. Uh, the people who sit in the front, they have a good view. And the people who, who sit behind, they only get at the back of the butterfly. Okay, and I found out this, this mask, even it is artificial, but I don't know why I have some moisture inside. So I don't want to get some mold inside. I'm going to just uh, leave the lid open for a few days and then hoping those moisture can dry out. But it shouldn't be because I bought at least uh, from the Michaels and then they wasn't have any sting or any moisture. Okay, so the lighting, um, I bought this one, it's, uh, it's pretty, and uh, but it's only have a one color, let's turn it down, and uh, it's like this, okay, it's actually very pretty here. And I'm going to turn the light off a little bit so you can see better. So this is one of the options, and I was talking about the candles. So this is the candles and uh, you want to get the one that have a uh, um, remote control. So that way, every time you want to turn it on, turn it off, you don't have to, you know, this one, I think the light is too bright. Let me go turn off the light. Okay, so this one is actually they have a multi-color, so you can use the remote control. They actually uh, changing the colors, so you get an idea. Okay, and then I actually found out the other line. It's also from Amazon, and I will um, create, um, provide. They should really cut me a good check. I send everybody to Amazon. I found out this kind of tea light. It's a new tea light. They do have a tea light, but uh, if you don't want it, those kind of frame, uh, frame frame air um like this candle frame this is the other one of a good auction oh and i forgot to mention all the candles they actually can um, re um use the battery you can replace the battery which is a good things you can this one is like a 2 aaa the battery you can replace with the the battery this one is the aa you can replace the battery so this is going to make a great gift because uh, you can keep them for a while and this one, I like this one. This is actually a pretty good one. So it's, uh, it's like this, it's very small. My next project is going to be under the sea. So in this one, they change the color. I'm going to show you just in a second. They come with 10 candle lights. I think it's $20 Canadian. And uh, they come with two um, remove. And uh, the best part is that they have uh, too many different kind of the colors and then you can adjust the color. So they, they are, up, are operated with a two AA battery. So you kind of just uh, open it. They actually have a two AA battery. And then um, you just kind of turn like this. Okay, and then just turn it. And then if you lose a little bit cap, it's that's how it turned out. It took me a while to figure it out because I couldn't find the switch. Where's the switch? So you just make sure you tie it up and then they will turn it on and they will change the color and for the remove see and then it's very bright you can actually change the color all different kind of color so these will make it beautiful and they can fade in it too Whew. I think that's so pretty right so you can use this one and it's small and it's great for kids project because you don't have to worry about the frame you don't have to worry about fire right so that's uh, what it look like so if you um, think about to purchase some light i think this is a great option to purchase this one so see i can turn it off just like that and then those are kind of um three uh, three volt um, battery we can find it on dollar store three for one dollar so and then they will last for a long time. So 
So I think that's the new of uh, the um, Discover. I think this is a good thing. I'm going to use it for my, my next project. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you don't want to miss this. So I'm going to just uh, turn it off and then we're going to start to decorate my masterpiece for my washroom. Okay, so I have uh, I have a lot of uh, butterflies here. Some of them, and it doesn't have a um, color. What I did is I just uh, put the double side tape on the piece of regular cardstock, and I just die cut it, and I sprinkle the glitter on top. So I just uh, I, I love glitter. It's just uh, add the beautiful touch up. Right, so you can have a few, and in the back, I usually don't use the white. I use some color, and I um I, I like to I oh, I would like to ask you is it, uh, does anybody have any good way to use embossing powder and heat gun? Because I really don't like those powders, and then I don't have any friend that I can go to their house to do the embossing powder or glitter. Just kidding. I just want to find out. Do you have any good tip that you can you know? that better way to do the embossing powder um, because those powder usually go to my table and it just drive me crazy and I, I just don't like it but I, I like embossing. Okay, so the first, and at this one, see they have a little swing door. Isn't that awesome? It's so cute and it's only $20. So um, my last tutorial I was explaining you can use the moss, you can use the Angelina fabric, and then I'm gonna use these moss and I bought a, a two bag and it was $5 off. And then I only use the um, half bag for that jar project. And I'm going to use the other half. So I'm going to use the mix with a little bit, you know, darker green, okay? So this is just assembling. I can fast forward it, but I think uh, you probably like to see how I do. Maybe you like to hear I'm talking, right? Okay, so I am, and then I'm going to show you step by step. Oh, and then if you are making one of these project, um, I really hope you can share with me. Like uh, you can make a bird, you can make a butterfly, you can do all different kinds of things, right? And I really like to see other people's project. Okay, so I have a lot of butterflies, but I'm not going to use all of them because I probably have like 30 of them, right? So I don't need the all. And... Uh, I am going to, because I have the other two, quick project to show you. So first, I just put the, all my moss inside. There's two color because uh, I'm a little bit short of, uh, uh, no, actually, I'm not sure I can all, use all dark green, but uh, I just want to have a two color. Okay, and I have some branches here. You can just kind of um, adjust a little bit your branch, you know, the size, like the, how tall you are. How, not how tall you are, how tall your branch is. And then um, in my last tutorial, I was showing you what's the best way to glue your butterfly. Don't try, don't use a hot glue um, gun. The best thing is to use uh, these uh, glue dots. These glue dots. And I was showing you the best way to pick up the glue dots is to use your, your die cut. So you're kind of folding your butterfly. And in the back of my butterfly, I also give some colors here. And then I just use the butterfly to pick up that glue dot. So that glue dot is not going to stick on your, your hand. Okay, so that's one. I think I probably maybe, um, that's just make like a three main branches. And if not enough, we can add more. So let's do few, just different angle. And while I'm working, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I just uh, I just ordered the other um, camcorder. The camcorder I'm using now is uh, 10 years old. My first tutorial was uh, was done in 2008. Now I think 2000 no seven years ago, seven years ago. I don't know what which year 2020. Um, I think it's 2012. That was my first tutorial. I had a 10,000 viewer and uh, I wasn't really concentrated on the tutorial because uh, I was traveling all the time. I um, The busiest year, I did the 26 to 38 shows a year. So you probably met me at the scrapbooking show, heirloom show, 
uh, rubber stand event or CK show. So that was the title with the traveling. I never get a chance to stay at my studio to create uh, any project. So once in a while, I have a uh, one or tutorial, probably like a half a year, maybe one tutorial. But since it is a pandemic happening, I am I, I stay at home and I, I really enjoy it, you know, doing the tutorial and then I re finally get a chance to play all the awesome product I have. Because before, when I was doing the making a sample card, usually is the time when I have a new stamp uh, lunch, I need a sample card. I never get a chance to sit down and play my project like now. So that's why um, I have a lot of tutorial now and I purchased a new camera and I hope this new camera, um, I think this new camera this is, is going to be, uh, make me look a little bit thinner. So maybe my sausage finger is uh, going to become hot dog. So I am very exciting my new camcorder. So and then I am actually going to show you in front of the camera um, one of the Tutorial I was show I, I did show myself, but uh, they said this camera is going to look thinner, so can't wait. Okay, so this is my first branch. See, I kind of like a turning, have a all different kind of ankle, and um, this one is okay. Just if it's one or two, have a white one, it's okay. So and then we are going to just uh, um, actually let me put the light first because after I. Put the um, branches. I'm going to have a hard time, so I'm going to actually hiding this battery inside that moss, and then kind of just uh, you know, going to show you, okay? So kind of just uh, put uh, that light inside, okay? And then I'm going to put my first branch in, and then I can probably. Put that light. You know what? You know what I mean. You can just adjust anything you like. You like to decorate this jar. If you want all the light is on the button, you you just uh, place the light there. If you want your the light go a little bit on the branches, you can just uh, you know hang on one of the branch or whatever. So that would do. Okay, so that's the uh, first branch in, and then I am going to put more. So basically, you just uh, try to put all those uh, butterfly. I think each branch uh, probably three large one, no, two large one, and uh, three small one. That will do. It's very interesting, fun. Okay, this is my second second one. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Okay, try to, you know, turning your lantern. Let me see. Okay, like this. To see all the view, okay. But this one, well, I was, I'm actually, I was planning to make it to put in my um, powder room, so, but just in case, maybe when I have a friend come for the dinner, I can put it in the, I can use it as a centerpiece. Okay, if you have some birds, stamps, um, you can actually cut in some branches and uh, put a little bird on top, little nest on top. I think that will look good too. Just be creative any way you like. So I'm going to just, uh, do one shorter one, so just like that. It's pretty already, isn't it? Okay, and I see how many butterflies I have. I still have a lot, so that's uh, remember that how you pick up your glue Use the your die cut to decor I mean pick it out so something like this like a lollipop and then um, since I have too many I'm going to just uh, use uh, the color one instead of uh, I can use one glitter one too okay sometimes they can shear that glue dot so you don't have to use uh, one butterfly one glue dot hey that looks pretty good already 
Let's turn it on and see what it looks like so far. Okay, off, on. Oh, I forgot to turn it off. So let's turn it down. Okay, they have a switch. Where is the switch? So, oh, yeah, a switch here. Yeah, turn it on the switch, and then later on, you don't need the remote control. Okay. There's one more thing. Okay. If you really want your branch standing inside your mask, what you can do is you can use your um, branch to pick up that uh, glue dot, maybe two. And then now you can you know go put it inside your lantern maybe try to poke all the way through the bottom of that lantern and then that way your branch is going to sit like a tree they are not going to like a fall I, actually i think that's a pretty good idea see you find the you know find the answer for your question the yeah you while you're working, you keep improving yourself. If you have a problem, solve it, right? So, I'm going to, yeah, and I just found out when I put inside, they are all kind of leaning on the side of the lantern. So, I want they stick on top. So, what I'm going to do is just, you know, put the glue that on the bottom of that branch. And, uh, just poke all the way through to the button. Try to avoid that battery. Okay. Yeah, that's whew, that's much better. Okay. So yeah, the small piece. If you don't need it, don't worry about it. Oh, this is flashing light is driving me dizzy. I'm gonna change it. That's a little bit softer. Okay. So let me show you what it look like so far. Isn't that pretty? There's more! There's more! Okay. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I think this corner kind of need a, a small branch there. So you can, okay, use a little bit small branch. You know, you do have to trim your branch. They don't come small, you know. Okay. And then, um, oh, forgot to put my butterfly first. Okay. So on the side, so you just try to fill it out the gap, right? And I think that, that butterfly is kind of too much orange. So I choose the butterfly is a, a little bit more purple. Okay. And uh, and don't, re don't forget to kind of like folding the butterfly a little bit. Okay. I think this is a really pretty um, project that if you want to keep your bees be, uh, keep you keep your be, uh, kids busy and I think it's a great Mother's Day gift too is uh, how much it cost you five dollars twenty five ten dollars I think for the material probably only thirty five dollars um, that's not included stamp but if you have some butterfly stamp you can make that happen right okay so I'm going to put this one the other corner okay okay and then oops this one is kind of clock so you just kind of adjust them okay I think I have enough butterfly inside this lantern now but uh, there is a uh, one final touch okay I think let me show you it's very pretty okay all angle is does a job okay I still have some butterfly here but uh, actually I have one more but uh, I think that's enough okay I maybe put this one in too okay so there's a uh, one more um, one more things you can do it so we um, there is a uh, like a big glue dot this is uh, like a very big one this next step you are going to use a uh, um, small glue dot because um, I want to um, okay so I'm going to just do let's see okay so I kind of want to you can find any like a size you want and the same thing we are going to use the small dots in instead of uh, the big one just use uh, this uh, butterfly pick up a uh, 
one or two small we don't want I don't want a very uh, is visible okay so okay, just pick it out one or two or you can use a double side tape will do or you can cut the, the large glue dots in the small one so just a little bit dots okay very small tiny one and then I'm going to where's the door Okay, and then I'm going to show you after I do that. I'm going to place that butterfly on the glass. That's one other way. Can you see that butterfly? It's on the glass. So you can adjust then, put the, like a few on the glass up and down. Okay, so... And then I'm going to put the one more onto the other side and show you the final project. It's kind of like the, the butterfly is a like, oops, wrong direction. Okay, let me put the one more and I show you all together. So I put the three butterfly and then, but you got to use a small, um, the glue dot because we don't want it. I don't want it that ugly glue that show just a little bit okay and the one more this is so addic addicted you're talking about the stem I'm talking about these one more butterfly that's it get yeah, one more butterfly okay and I'm going to do this uh, just one more small one on the door this is so pretty okay Okay, okay, our final project here. That's what it looks like. I'm going to show you from the different angle soon, but it's just give you some idea. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so today's uh, masterpiece, and I hope you like it. If you want to have a, um, you want to do more, if you still have a lot of butterfly, here is what you can do. You can actually glue. Oh, let me clean this. It's a little bit dust. I haven't. Yet. But if you want to put uh, this butterfly outside of this, uh, the butterfly, the one that stay inside this lantern, is going to stay like that. You don't have to worry about the color fading or anything because they are inside, they are protected. If you want to glue your butterfly on top of this lantern, okay, this is what you're gonna do. You are going to put a, uh, you are going to cover this uh, um, butterfly with a packing tape and then you die cut it. So that way that packing tape is kind of protection. So that will protect this butterfly get dirty so that's probably good idea so but I'm gonna just uh, um, leave it like that I'm gonna do it later you get idea right so that's what to look like and I'm gonna take a picture for the few of you to to show you so this is a today's uh, tutorial I think it is an awesome project so there is uh, the lantern one the one in the jar. Okay, so let me turn on this one. Turn on. Okay, the one in the jar. The the tiny one in this jar. So different budget, different friend, different gift. So from this one, this jar is two dollars. You can make this happen. This jar is $10, this is $25. So I think that's all looks awesome. And then I actually have the other tutorial is a kind of same idea, but I'm going to do something else and we are going, I'm going to create it under the thing. So under the sea. So we are going to use our sea turtles, tropical fish, some seashell. If you don't want to miss it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you like this tutorial, give me a thumb up and uh, and don't forget uh, um, there is a, there was a coupon code in the middle of this tutorial. So local King Robert Stan have a special promotion. It's twenty percent off for all the online order now for all the regular prices. And uh, with these five extra percent coupon code, 
um, you save more because you are or sub subscriber, sub you know what I mean. You're a viewer. Subscriber. There you go. Okay, so this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp, and I'm uh, so excited waiting for my new candle, a uh, new can quarter, can quarter, right? The one is going to make me look a thing, and I'm going to show you right in front of um, my camera. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.